Yo, this is Dorky Diggity Dave, and today we are talking about how to be a little smarter about your arena grinds and kind of paying attention to what's going on. So let's first take a look at some of my friends from my alliance. Okay, first we have Exhibit A. We've got five star shards, 1,000 of those, and 106 star shards, and this was taken in at 5 million points. Next on the list, we have 500 five star shards, and we have some boost uh, crystals, and uh, this was 4.5 million, so he just missed the mark, almost got double the shards, was just falling short just a little bit. And the master blaster, uh, basically this dude <laughs> got 1,000 shards and 106 star shards for a whopping 9.85 million, because he just, just, just missed the 2,000 five star shards. Now, this is happening for a very simple reason. One, people are not getting in the pool, but that's kind of a dead issue because people don't care about getting in the pool. People care more about what the upper echelon is doing and how this is going to help other people get better than them. But hey, guess what? They're already better than you. So, and you're not going to catch up. So it's, it's a good idea to just jump in the pool. It's 200 five star shards and it helps you out and it helps out all of your fellow players and if in the event you ever wanted to go for something that system will be set up for you but hey selfish people are selfish it is what it is the fact of the matter is that people just aren't interested in helping each other unless it's something against kabam from what i can tell and from what i've seen um you know getting in the pool would be a great great help to everyone and help everyone progress and get everyone the things that they need instead of begging Kabam to give you stuff for free. So here we are in the arena. This is the main point of the video. So all those people that had these things going on, let's take the 9.85 million, for example. Let's say you are someone who will grind that or you have the resources to grind that. Let's see if we can split this up and make this a little bit better. Now, you ended up with 1,000 <laughs> five-star shards and 106 star shards, and that was from doing the featured five star. Now let's take a look at those rewards. Um, now, yeah, he did get all of, uh, no, he actually didn't. <laughs> he did not do that. 9.85 didn't even get you all of the milestones. Um, so you're getting somewhere around a hundred ish units there. Um, and 1,000 five star shards. Now let's split up, uh, and get something closer to about 2.5 mil. Uh, and that will get you about 30, 30 units in this particular uh, arena. Now, that will also get you somewhere around the 500 uh, five star shards, 2.5, 2.8-ish area uh, for the featured five star. Now, you do that and you split up your arena grind and you take that onto the featured four star, boom, you jump in here and you can put in the full amount, the full 4.5. Usually I go about 4.7, 4.8, just to make sure that I can get the shards at the end. Now, in here, you get uh, your full 135 units and you end up right here in the top one to 10%. That's 400 five-star shards on top of another 500 that you're getting in there. So you're already around 900, but you're increasing your unit gain now. It's still less than 9.85. Now, if you take that over here into the basic, boom, jump into the basic, uh, you're getting another 135. So you're getting somewhere around, uh, right around 300 units just for doing all of the separate arenas and, and you get another one to 10%. So you're getting uh, around 300, well, it depends, not really one to 10, uh, one to 10%, usually around 11 to 25%. Let's just, let's just say it, leave it there because some champions go for 1.7, 1 1.6, 1 uh, but others are usually around the three or 4 million area. So let's just go with the 11 to 25%. That is another 200 five-star shards. You've gotten more, it's a hundred more, but it's more and you get four star shards so that you can get more five stars. Now it is less <laughs> in terms of uh, six star shards, but you're getting a lot more units. You're getting a lot more uh, in your five star shards and you're getting more in your four star shards, which will help you build up your roster. So if you're not quite hitting the mark and you're doing a lot of work and just, just missing it, you can better diversify your arena grinds, get more in return, 
and get more for your work. Now, until the community realizes that getting in the pool is a good thing, uh, you know, unfortunately, we're gonna have to do things like this. So, you know, if you really want to uh, optimize the, the arena grind, go ahead and start educating your friends, educating the people in your alliances. Let them know how things work and how you missed it and how maybe if they just jumped in and put 1 million points and got 200 five-star shards, um, how that helps out. You know, maybe we might change something, but for now, uh, we're just gonna have to deal with it as it is. So once again, this is Dorky Diggity Dave. This was just a quick video. Maybe it was quick, maybe it wasn't, I don't know. But let me know what you think. Let me know how you do your arena grinds. And if you're too busy to do arena, also let me know. Let me know what you think about getting in the pool and all of that good stuff. Uh, so if you liked the video, and I hope that you did, go ahead and click subscribe, click like, leave a comment, share with your friends, share with your mama. All that stuff helps me out. And remember, stay dorky, and I'll catch you on the flip.